Hello, this is Rich Spots. I am speaking to you from Trinity Church, which is in Solbury, Pennsylvania, in Bucks County, just outside of Philadelphia. And today I am doing the paraphrase and double chorale for the Feast of Easter. The Feast for Easter was the first office composed by Tournemir of what he then termed Lorg Gloyeur. He considered it the central office to the entire work. Of Easter, Tornemir wrote, it is like a sun that shines around him a multitude of worlds. The office cites three of the four light motif chants, the exception being the Ave Maristella, which is an obvious omission. This pièce terminale contains the most chance of any single movement. The antiphon, Ego Dormivi, the gradual, Heg Dies, the Alleluia, Pascha Nostrum, the sequence, Victime Pascali, the hymn of thanksgiving, the Te Deum Laudamus, and the Easter tone of the dismissal, the Ite Missa Est. In the plan, Tournemir referred to the postlude for each office, not as a pièce terminale, as he would later call them, but rather as a résumé. He considered these movements as reflections on the ideas of each day. Indeed, these movements are quadlibetical in both senses of the term, an elaborate theological argument and a polyphonic musical interweaving of independent melodies and texts. This quadlibetical application is no more clearly epitomized than in this movement. Interestingly, this postlude for Easter Day defies our expectations by ending quietly. It is a testament to Tournemir, whose skill as a liturgical musician was one in which he could conclude the church's observance of Easter, not at a sforzando, but at a pianissimo, expressing both theological profundity and spiritual corabatic elation, or in Messiaen's parlance, embruissement, giving voice to the exuberance felt by humanity when faced with the divine. So that said, here is the paraphrase and double corral for Easter Day.